Here comes the latest news with Loose Women's Sherry Houston and Zoe Tyler. Very good morning to you. Good Hot morning. Yes. yes. Oh, mm. Duh. Mm -hmm. Serious. Go. Serious. Daily Mail, the rise of the Swafties. The Swafties. Swafties. Yeah. Stands, yes, let's have a look at this. And this stands for single women over 50 who like clubbing, tweeting and exotic halls. I'd say that's all the Loose Women then, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, li I like... Uh, Holidays, yes, and tweeting, yeah, but good. but clubbing is not. I've never been a clubber. Mm -hmm. and I wouldn't I think, do I think that. It's embarrassing. I, I mean, I think go for it. Do whatever you want to do, especially the holiday stuff, tweeting, whatever. Glamorous. I've got glamorous mom who's sixty, but I'd never go to a club with her. I think with that's her? No, no, it's a no, no, isn't it? Don't go clubbing I with your mom. Somebody recently come over who was said they came. One of their friends brought their auntie to the club, and they said I was expecting you know kind of a young auntie, and she wasn't, and so we were all really no. embarrassed for no, her. Yeah. <laughs> No, was I, kind I, of the, curling herself around the, the dance. The great thing about this um, uh, story is, and they, they take the example of a former air stewardess for British Airways called Dawn Pollard, mm. and she just embraced life. I think the thing is that it's saying that life is not over when you at absolutely. 50 for Do you women. know what? I wish they'd shut up saying that, okay. because we all I'm know it's sorry, not over. Sorry it came out of my mouth. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, all, we know it's not over. Stop it. I don't, who's saying? Well, can I just say we something? must tell you it's not over. Well, how, how, how can people lead their life like that? What, where do they get the money? Where do they get the time? How can they afford to do that? That's what I want afford to know. Afford to do what, though? Have they? all this clubbing, going to exotic holidays, all this sort of... Well, you no, just but decide not, how they? to spend they? your money, don't you? Yes, your so choice, you're, what you're spend out your there. Money. Nobody needs to tell anybody. I'm sick of them telling people over 50. Not that I am, but... <sighs> <laughs> right. You know, I think, I think Amy's right. Done. And it said also, I hate that word spinster. There's something about the word spinster. Well, you're not spinster. Used that so this word. is all you're about. A spinster. I am a spinster and yeah. I hate the word. I like, hate the I mean, word. Back there, it sounds not, quite yeah. cool. It's like isn't pensioner, it? isn't yeah. it? No. And they're, they're basically saying that, you know, that stereotype of the sad old spinster is a myth. Because <gasps> they're all out there enjoying themselves. Well, it's a myth anyway. Absolutely. Unless, of course, you're sad. And on your own this morning, you might want to share that with us, and we'll talk about yeah. that as well. Um, and also, it can depend on the way you smell. <laughs> no, it can. It can. Depends how true. lean you are, but the it way you true. smell. And this is the next story oh. here. And amazingly, it says here in a survey mm. that men don't necessarily like bottled perfume. Mm. See, now I agree with that. I've, I've been out with a couple of men that actually liked me quite stinky. <gasps> not that I know. Not that I do sting. I smell lovely. Sherry stinks, but Your I don't. pheromones, you mean? No. But I don't know what she, she means. What, she, what do you mean smell? Um, yes, would rather get off on your natural smells than um. being sprayed with perfume. I've had a couple of boyfriends. I mean, I'm... I forget to put perfume on sometimes, but I don't like a man that smells. I like a man with a bit of aftershave. So mm. I, I think I think we are very different. I don't think men care. Come on, Eamon. He You're the man. You like I love a bit perfume. of perfume. Didn't I, I say that to you this there's morning? Certain, she said, I mean, there's certain she said, perfumes that remind me of certain people. And I have to oh. say, without being critical, darling, you know where I stand on this. You are too predictable with your <gasps> perfume. Well, I wear, you are. But also, Eamon, also, I wear, I like very light perfume. I like so a bit of change wear, every now and again. I wear more cologne-type. Perfume, you know, you're like lemony. an old lady in lavender. <gasps> oh, Amy! No, 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 that's not, not my fault. Why doesn't she wear young yeah, high street trouble. perfume? Why don't you buy it for her? Then? I don't. Exactly. I do. He does. And I do. Because oh. he, he they remind me of other women. <laughs> Absolutely true. Oh, he don't had tell that story. He had don't. Catherine Jenkins <laughs> on his radio show once, yeah. and he came home and he went, oh, Catherine Jenkins smelled so lovely. She was wearing this perfume. I can't say what it was, obviously. Uh, well, and he bought me a bottle. Well, I bought you a year later, like didn't you? Yeah, yeah, he bought it a year later, thinking I wouldn't remember. Oh and no, I mean, that's like being unfaithful. Smells lovely, on her. That's really bad. Okay, here's another ridiculous story. Um, and this one, where is this one? And is this the sun as well? This is 40% uh, of women want a toy boy, isn't that one? Yes. yes. What would you do with that? Four out of ten women well. over 40 wish they had a toy boy. And 17% who have partners said if they could get away with it, they'd like an affair with a younger man. Oh, no. Oh. You see, I wouldn't go out with anybody Sick. I could give birth to. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would just no. be quite frightening. <laughs> and I've always said that I would never be interested in a toy boy but at the moment I'm quite open but they would be hours. interested in well, you how, how much younger do they have to be to be a toy boy do you well uh, just Ten older years? than a son you know what I mean yeah. like yeah. so what but, do you make of what's going on in Northern Ireland with the MP Iris oh, Robinson yes. she's nearly 60 he was 19 I know 
That's too much. I mean, for me personally, I wouldn't know. Oh, there'd just be nothing in common. I might fancy him a little bit more than an older man, but... She's on a thing at the moment because she's a bit desperate, so... I'm not as long desperate, as, as long as she's got a pulse, she said to me, <laughs> it'd be all right. Isn't, but isn't there an element of, you know, I can still pull him? I can still pull yeah, him. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But him. Toy yeah. boy. I don't know what toy boy means. Anyway. Well, That's the toy another boy one means the, younger the guy favourite potential celeb toy boy was our Gino, Gino De Campo. Yeah. So it was. Funny, um, you're not on that list. Well, no, Funny no that. But, but of course I fall into a different now, category. Now, if you if you want a toy boy, girls, <laughs> yes, yeah, a load of this. Have you seen the pictures today of See, Ronaldo in his well. pants? This is ridiculous. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Where are they? He ponces Come around on. the football <gasps> pitch. Look at that. Oh. No. That, See, that doesn't do it half. for you. No, that's just... Oh, oh it does it for me. Does it? Oh, yeah. I yes. told you she was desperate. <laughs> that's not desperate. Look at that six No, pack. but look what he's got on those knickers. That's like They're a not very, But don't you think that's an odd pose? Is that pose... What's all that? Yes, it's sort of leading back. I want back. to be alone. It's to yeah. take your attention away from other parts of the Well, picture. it doesn't, because you're definitely no, it doesn't. not looking but at that. But why do yet. men wear those knickers? What is it with knickers? Well, I find them... Um, what, no, do you, what, no. do you what do you wear? Find them, no, never mind. It's only been <laughs> Go on. The obvious, no, you have to say it. No, you no to I say find it. these adverts. I think these appeal probably to men as in a homoerotic way as opposed to women. That's what I, I think. I think you're right. I think these are, I, are, are me, very it's sort all of... all too perfect. Perfect. Not a hair on the bottom. No, he no. needs a bit of hair. Not a hair. It all yeah. looks oiled and too yeah. perfect. And you think they'd be... That's and he nice. looks very sucked and tucked, doesn't he? Looks well, like... Well, he is. Yeah. He is. Yes. Right. Um, talking in your sleep. Uh, you've picked oh, out an amazing story me. here about uh, a woman who <laughs> tapes... <laughs> who tapes her... And this is in the Daily Express. Mm. She, she audio tapes her husband talking in bed at night and he comes out with the weirdest things. He does. Like, go on. Go on, well, he say, well, he says things like, um, oh, can, what can I read out here? Ruth? Your mum's at the door out? again. Bury me. Bury me deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what? fantastic. <laughs> I don't think you should have read that one out, actually. Shh, shh, shh. I think the one I'm you should have you. read out was yeah. about hell. What does it say? Um, oh, where is it? can't need my, my glasses on here. Yeah, my vision of hell is a lentil casserole. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, the idea is that he, um, he talks in his sleep in all sorts of strange ways. Uh, does your partner talk in the sleep and do you uh, tape it? I must admit, what I do is I sometimes I wake up laughing really loudly. I think that's why my husband went. He must have thought it was at him. I just go, <laughs> and I just thought he thought it was at him. But I've just got a thing. Do you do that? I thought everybody did. What, what, what do you do? He talks all night. You wouldn't believe it. I'm disturbed. The I'm at the most disturbed. active in what, just, what sort of things do you Everything say? Everything goes through my mind. I think of work. I think of politics. He's always being chased. He's always like, quick, so they're getting me quick. I Hurry think I've post-traumatic stress disorder. I think he, he might have been a priest or something in a previous life. And sometimes he's done, he's done things like it sounds like a foreign language. <laughs> like, you go, holabar, shah, yeah. holabar. <laughs> Very honestly, do you have any tape recordings to prove this? I'm going this. to because yes. you never believe me. That's a very interesting life. Tape him, tape no him. No wonder I always look so tired, Sherry. I'm yes, up I half know. the night with this. Oh, bless me. All night long. <laughs> thing is, all Ray, night long. You love him for it. I'm That's sure I'm speaking Italian or something much more romantic. <laughs> if you have anything to share with us in any of the stories we've just covered, including oh, uh, your partner talking in their sleep, you could email us or your view on underpants and men wearing them and the type of underpants and all that sort of thing this morning at IT. <laughs> Do you know, that was the most comprehensive look through the papers I've had in a long time. Was it? It was. It's very the things you learn about the world. Very, very loose. Very loose. Very loose Thank today. You, ladies. Thank you. Thanks, no. so. I'm looking forward to the show today. I believe there's a, there's a very attractive older woman. There was, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. today. Well, we might see you Wednesday, might we? Oh, yes. What? Oh, yes, National Wednesday. Television Awards. Yeah, 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 see me? Yeah, I haven't been invited. Well, I yeah, see National me. Television Awards on Wednesday, Wednesday night. Wednesday, the yes. loose women are up for one of those. They need your votes, so please vote. This is the first time we've been nominated, yeah. so we really need to win this one. Got yes. your frocks all sorted? Frocks done. Yes. Good, lovely.